Hey, what's going on guys? It's Wolfzero and welcome back to another episode of the Faction vs. series. Hope you guys are having a great day and I, I made a little bit of a boo-boo. As always, this is why I have no job. So I did this nice little intro. This is the second time this happened and my mic wasn't recording. I got this brand new setup, which is awesome. I'm super excited. The whole intro is me kind of talking about it, how I've been working on a desk that didn't really fit me for a very long time, for about a year. And I finally was just like, I had enough of this. So I'm getting a new desk. I got this brand new chair. Everything is all good but i've been uh, spending a lot of time getting the whole setup rocking and rolling i mean you spend so much time at our computer i mean we I mean like youtubers and stuff and um spend like literally 18 hours a day at the computer so it's important to have the setup as good as possible and uh, it's looking really good and i'm super super happy about it so uh you know just kind of spent like a little bit of time talking to you guys about that but we're just gonna like jump into the episode instead of all that jazz because it was literally just 10 minutes of me going you know what i mean because uh well i messed up and i unplugged my mic and i plugged it back in and for some reason i recording software wasn't picking it up but it, it gets all sorted out don't worry in just a second and uh, we don't miss too much of the episode but a little bit of a chill episode today guys it's saturday we're relaxing we're having a good time uh obviously the last episode was insane uh you know we got the uh, the god set from the raid i lost some pieces if you guys watched the episode not don't really want to say spoilers but i did lose the chest plate and i did lose the legs i'm asking around the allies to see if anyone has them or we're able to get a hold of them and i haven't really heard back yet so not in this episode at least but we do we have the helmet and we have the uh, axe. We're going to name the axe in this episode. We're going to do a bunch of other really cool stuff, just kind of maintenance and stuff around the place, uh, change up some iron grinders and, and sell and buy some stuff, uh, make some cash and prepare for an awesome uh, Sunday episode. I think if we can make enough money to maybe unlock some cool new stuff. So don't want to say too much, but should be pretty flipping awesome. So if you guys enjoyed that like button down below, uh, another episode of the Daily Faction series. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed. Obviously a little bit of a late night one as well, so I apologize for that. And uh, yeah, let's go ahead and jump into a very chill, relaxed episode. You know, that's the part of having daily episodes. Can't have something crazy every day. Rob a dog flop kind of, kind of has a life. Kind of. Uh, so I can't do eight-hour raids every day, unfortunately. So uh, some days we have uh, just kind of chilling episodes on factions. That's what it's all about. So uh, enjoy the episode. See you guys in there. Take care and bye. Well, that was the longest reset timer ever, right? Oh my goodness. I'm actually going to take these off for a bit. I just played like an hour and a bit of Ark. <laughs> it was a lot of fun. I kind of got sidetracked and, and played a whole bunch. I was building my new house. If you guys want to go check out that episode, it's going to be airing on my second channel today, youtube.com slash the Wuffles. Uh, link I'll put in the description. And I actually need to start putting my second channel in all my descriptions. For some reason, I don't. Anyways, we're back here on Factions to uh, to play a whole bunch. I've grinded up to 77,000 XP now, kind of just offhandedly, and it's been uh, it's been going pretty well. I'm not going to lie. I've been having a lot of fun just kind of grinding here and, and kind of chatting and getting some stuff sort of, but I do need to go through all my stuff. We're going to name my axe today. That's one thing. I've thought of some cool names, but uh, we're going to definitely get that going for sure. As well as I actually bought a, a Simple Soul Tracker, which I'm going to throw onto one of these swords. I don't know which one, uh, but one of them, because I just want to have all my, my soul trackers and stuff here. So I always run with these swords if I can, um, obviously being the best. So we're going to have that going. Um, but yeah, let's go ahead and do PV2. Um, go and grab Rage 6 Lifesteal 2, not bad. We want to get the high lifesteal. So I think I might wait. I might wait for another. I mean, it's, it's just a simple soul tracker, right? Not that big of a deal. Did we get a better sword from our adventures? Let's kind of grab all the good stuff we got, I guess, in our inventory. I haven't even done that either. So let's grab everything and kind of see what we got from that adventure. And uh, we can actually go ahead and do some cool stuff with the PB-18. Um, I was re-watching the footage, by the way, and I did realize that the good gear, the god set gear that I had, I put into PV-18 and then for some reason took it out. Why? I mean, I don't even understand why. Is my, what is going on, girl? It's like super dramatic camera. It's like 45 degree angle. Oh, hold on, let me fix this real quick. I think that's better. Okay, so we got all this gear. Ooh, some things almost broke. Thankfully, they did not. Um, and let's go through and just do bad on the good side. Uh, good on good on the left side, bad on the right side. Let's do it. So by no means is the stuff on this right here bad, but a lot of it is actually going to go into our PV4 here for, uh, you know, disassembling from Black Scrolls. So for example, Overload 3, um, we have that. Oh, that's actually really good. I missed that one. Wow, Obsidian Shield, Life Bloom, Deathbringer. 
a Overload Shockwave 3, that's really good. Uh, this has got Bloodlust 6, which also makes it pretty good, but the Deathbringer is only 2, and the Overload is only 1, and we already have a lot of blood, uh, blood like higher Bloodlust 6 stuff, so I think we're going to throw this into a decent thing. Oh, look, another blood, Bloodlust 6. A lot of Bloodlust 6, I guess that's like kind of the most important thing to have, um, and these are actually not great, um, so we're going to go ahead and just put that in our not great PV. Uh, I think I'm just going to put it into like PV 15 for now. Oh, man, but that's such a waste, right? I gotta find a good place to put these guys. All right, so all the glear gear, glear has been cleaned <laughs> up. Oh, wow, sound is very high, very high. Um, and uh, everything is looking good in the PVs. Did a little bit more work and I uh, actually got some cool stuff to do. It's actually the next day. I actually whew, just woke up. Man, it is the morning time and I was like, let me jump on real quick. And the discipline was on and we're gonna get some stuff done real quick for the base as well as our G kits have been reset. And uh, yeah, we are ready to rock and roll to get some cool new things going real quick though. Uh, PV17 and all the PVs that I got from the gear that we had the other day has been uh, emptied. Emptied and kind of set up to uh, to work good. Uh, all in PV4 and PV5. So I have like a lot of sets, dude. If you need something, let me know. And especially after this G-Kit opening, I should have like, I don't know, yeah, five I'm, or six really good PVP yeah, sets. Pretty low, pretty low on gear. Okay, I keep so, losing it when I'm using it at the cannons and stuff. I always get jumped and lose it. And then you just die. You gotta yeah. get some better gear on you, man. Yeah. That's that's why. Okay, all right, all right. So we're gonna do the G kits. Let me clear my inventory just so that we have a free open inventory to do things. I'm um, gonna put that sort of away. So I got a free open inventory and let's rock and roll. So I got the heroic spooky. And wow, okay, really good uh, roll for that. Here, bad, bad, oh, good roll for that, and a decent roll for the sword. I guess if you could just tinker the stuff I send over to you, that'd be good. Yeah, I could just tinker. Yeah, we can, we can be like super ultra efficient here. Um, and then up next, I got the uh, guardian kit, and guardian kit, I got a really good roll again. Holy moly. Uh, you can have that if you want. It's like not bad. It's like not bad. And yeah, then you we'll can tinker that. that, and that's a good bow. And I got Clarity 2 only, so you can, if you want to tinker that as well. Um, but hey, I got a really good yeah, roll on the helmet, dude. Enlighten 3 on the helmet, Clarity 3, Protection 4. Almost maxed out helmet for that. Oh, not too bad. Yeah, that's actually pretty good. And we got to buy the new, the other heroics. Actually, wait, I think we can actually do that in the ultimate. Um, I think we still have like one or two G kits left over, which we can actually go over and do that really quick. Um, okay, up next, I have the Arcane Kit going for that Enlighten 3. Nope. Uh, yes, Enlighten <laughs> 3. Yes, Enlighten 3. Yes, three and lane three pieces. Holy moly, yeah, that was lit. Keep helmet. It's got glow and one on it. And sometimes I don't have my gamma break thing on, and it's really hard right. to see. So I'll just keep that on. Okay. Uh, tinker, Tinker, Tinker. Oh, that was a bad set. Yep, that was a, that was a bad set. If you could just tinker all that stuff. We did not, not do my, too good there. I've got my butcher's kit, uh, G kit to do. I'm going to pop that and hopefully okay. get a decent act. Let's see. Templar. Oh, here's another glowing helmet if you Ooh. want one. Ooh. Aha, I got Devourer 4. Oh! But I didn't get uh, any bleed or cleave anywhere near highest, but then the Vera Force that would sell for quite a lot. No, that's the that's the most, dude. That's the yeah, most. Yeah. Like, dude, seriously, we could just get you bleed and cleave pretty easily. Ooh, like, I also I... got Bloodlust Six and Hardened Three on the chest plate, but didn't get Overload or Deathbringer. So easy to get those up. Yeah, easy to get. I, I would say Blood Bloodlust Six yeah. is the hardest chest plate enchant to get. Yeah, yeah. Um, just because of how. Ooh, and there it is. Bleed Six, Cleave Six, um, Axe. I literally just picked up off of the Viking kit. Which, I mean, I'll hold on to for right now. But there we go. Gears 3. All right. So, slash G kit. Dude, this is a really good G kit opening so far. Like, holy moly. All right. Cosmic Admiral G kit. Enlighten 3, Protection 1, Harden 3, Frozen 3. That's still worth it. Um, Deathbringer. Th okay. Here. You can have that chest plate. Uh, that, that, and you can have that. And tinker it if you want. Uh, I would tinker those boots, though. That's for sure. Oh, let's just check clear lag real quick. Just check clear that. Oh, three minutes. I got okay. some. I got decent boots for my Valentine's kit. I got Ghost Three, Gears Three, Anti Gravity Three. So like that would be some re good raiding boots. Like, yeah, you could get the, the Ghost and you yeah. got the Speed Three. That's sick. Um, this this sword, Killer Four, Life Steel Three, Inquis Two. Hmm. I'll hold mm -hmm. on to it, but I, I'm obviously not going to tinker it. But I'm going to hold on to it. All right. Slash G kit. So I'm almost through all my G kits. Voidwalker and ooh, here's some good boots for you, dude. Uh, do you need boots? Let me see if I need boots. Um, yeah, somewhat, I guess. I've, I'm not, I've only got like two decent pairs of Gears Three. Okay. Um, I mean, like, oh, I have a lot of Gears Three, dude. So here, you know what? Take these. 
they're really good. You could definitely use those like in all sorts of greatness. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, okay. And then here's yeah. a bad sword that you can tinker if you want. It's just got it's got any any gear with Obi shield I'll take as well because um. Dude, like I had allies Chica asking really. for that, dude. Where they're like, "Yo, I, I gave away all my Obi shield. I'm literally out. Like, we need to grind yeah. ultimate and enchant books like, and get all my Obi shield." Yeah, when you do like raids and there's regen and stuff, you can. Uh, it seems to just go missing. <laughs> like, you uh, always need the Obi shield. Here's a here's a missing. decent helmet. I mean, let me just check clear light because light, we're getting there. Okay, here's a decent helmet. It's not good enough for me to use, but then oh. Um, but then I got a really good sword. Rage 6, Lifesteal 4. Yes! Alright, that's high. Ooh, that's quite good. Yeah. And then I also have the Independence Day kit, which is like the best one. So I'm going to save that. Oh, and the Cannon Art kit, which I got. So PB3. Bang, 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 boom. Boom. And then Ghost 3, Gears 2. You could hold on to that. You could hold on to that. You can hold on to that. And you can hold on to those. Um, you can give them to like, you know, people you raid with or whatever. Alright, okay, cool. Yeah, so yeah, I got two you. more G kits. The Enchantment kit. I got... Clarity 3, 78%, uh, Arrow Knockback, Voodoo 3, Wither 3, Shockwave 5, Blind 3, Vampire 2, oh, and Silk Touch. Ooh. Yeah, it's got some of their enchants in there, I think max, the max level. Yeah, I'm going to tinker some of them. I'm going to tinker the Shockwave 5 because it's only 43%, Vampire 2, and I'm going to tinker the Blind 3 because it's 13%. So it's like kind of weak. Um, and the yeah. Voodoo 3 is not even close to high enough level. So I'm going to tinker those and get wow 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 this, bro because you were looking at me you were watching me i was getting i wasn't like you know comfortable god darn it dude god darn it but i did get the clarity three which is awesome and we got a good old wither three which is also really good not the highest rank obviously but pretty good okay and the last g kit is the independence kit this thing is op oh not good not, not good. good no you can you can keep them if you want I feel bad. I'm like giving you the leftovers, but I just have so much. I have so much <laughs> I good gear. And get some XP. I have so um, much good gear. It's like it's crazy, dude. I have like literally. I have two full sets of like ridiculously good stuff. Um, it could be better, but it's like really, really good. Definitely one full set of like holy moly. Uh, Cause actually, I'm not wearing anything right now, and I can actually yeah, you add put to that, that set from yesterday as well. That Nameless set, or well, some of it. Oh uh, yeah, good. just the helmet, dude. I lost everything uh, else. Ah. Uh, yeah. yeah, you got the axe as well. Yeah. And I got the axe. I got the axe, yeah, which yeah. we're going to name together, which is going to be super exciting. Um, other than that, though, I lost the chest plate and the, and the, and the legs. But to uh, be fair, I'm yeah, I mean, pretty sure someone has, has them. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Like, I mean, the helmet has, like, enchants that are kind of hard to get in itself. Like, the helmet only enchants, like, protection, destruction, and drunk. So yeah. that's kind of good that you've got the helmet. I would assume it's got that on the helmet. It does. Uh, uh, does it have protection? I actually am not entirely sure. Hold on. You know, I need a new PV. Hold on a second. I'm literally going to clear this PV. PV12 is now going to be my PV of things that just like are extra. Like just things I want to sell or I'm not sure what to do with. And just gear that's like it's good, but it's not like super good. Um, and we can kind of... Oh, that's, oh, that's actually a really good helmet. That's actually a really good helmet. And then I can kind of put everything in here and then realize like what I want to make in my ultimate sets here and then kind of take it and do something with it. So, um, okay, so I can go ahead and PV2 because you might be is looking beautiful right now, which is like all my really good gear. And it's all like just gears three and stuff like that. So it's pretty nice. All right, let me see. Let me take this off. Oh, I have a good helmet for you if you want. Oh, what's on it? You know what? It's not that great, but it's pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> um, I got some like Deathbringer 2, Voodoo 5, Curse, Overload 3, Spirits 3, Molten 4. Um, I have some like Protection 3, Harden 2, Frozen, which is like, it's mediocre, honestly. Yeah, I mean, it's good for PvP, I guess. Yeah. Just in a big fight, like 5v5, just kind of... Just kind of yeah, throw something on. Yeah, just to run about with, I guess. Let me, let me throw it in here. We should honestly spend some serious time and even like put all my gear into a chest and kind of like, I only need, I need like four really good sets of gear. Like that's all yeah, I need. Yeah. Four really good sets, I'd say is really 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 important um other than that it kind of is a little overkill to have more like i'm never going to get to them so i might as well just not even have them but at the same time you know we'll see uh oh can you put a soul tracker on a bow uh, yeah yeah sure of course you can. you can yeah yeah if you get like a really good bow that one shots naked think about it you yeah, just kind of like, kinda like explosive bow, 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 it has like bow. splash damage and just yeah. like, take three of them at the same time you know what uh, let me try it out because i actually have a um, I have a bow like this. Ooh, piercing four, sniper four, explosive four. Like if I put. Oh yeah, that was. Um, yeah. Oh here we. Oh here's even better. Sniper four, silence four, piercing five. 
Oh. There'd be a lot easier before the bow spamming thing was in like place to stop bow spamming because you could just run about spawn and bow spam and just and well, pick up naked. Thankfully, yeah. that's been fixed. But yeah, if I yeah. go because I bought a simple soul tracker, let me just apply this. So I got a simple soul tracker on there, and we can go do some PvP maybe later on. And oh, envoy! Oh, such planes! Ah, I'm going to such planes. Mm, yeah, you know what? I'm not gonna go. I have I have a hundred thousand XP on me, so <laughs> not really down. Okay, so while you're doing that. Uh, we're not going to name the axe quite yet. I'm actually going to go go and sell all of our iron, okay? Because we need to do a little bit of fixing to our iron thing. It's not going to be a lot of work. We're going to do most of it off camera. Um, but just to get it done, we're having a little bit of, uh, I mean, issues with poppies and the way that we're Ooh, losing, like, I some got, stuff. I got what? four chests. <laughs> what? I got four, then got out. Eh. Oh, rip them in combat. Oh, uh, do you need help? Uh... Probably not because I'm beside a bunch of dirt, so I'm just gonna jump around the one and hope it's not this guy's dirt. Uh, actually, I'll check I've got. Uh, yeah, there's definitely someone in some sort of G kit, so I'm just gonna. I'll just try and get away, I guess. How good? How good is G kit? Uh, I can't really tell. He's only hit like three times, and he's okay. got like, 32 hearts, so he's definitely got overload on, but um. I reckon since I've got jump boost, I'm just gonna jump about a bunch of trees. He'll probably lose me. He's which which me, warp? So. Which warp? Which warp? Ah, I got I got fly because he was trying to bolt me. So he's got a longer combat tag than me, so I'm away. Oh, nice, Did dude. You? I literally I put my set on, dude. I got a set on. <laughs> I was like ready to roll and roll. Oh, actually, the set I put on didn't even have overload. That's the thing is like I need to kind of like go through the sets now and kind of balance them so that they actually work and that they work off each other. Use some black scrolls and get some things going. All right, so let me get oh, back I got to some decent leggings, uh, black scroll leggings. Uh, hold on, home blaze, come back. I'm at I'm at Let's iron. I'm at iron. Ah. Uh, yeah, I'll come down in a sec. Yeah. I got leggings with overload 3 and hardened 3. Nothing no. else. Wow, dude. So be, I, think, have a GG, I don't way. think we black scroll that. I think we build off that. Yeah, just... I, like, I think we throw, like, thing. some Deathbringer 3, some Enlightened 3 on there, and then all of a sudden, yeah. what do you need? You need, like, Wither, and, yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, Obby Shield, and then you're yeah, done yeah. for pants. Like, I, oh, I've um, got, I also got an Elite Book. Let's see what I get. On there is 5. Nope, don't want that. <laughs> you can all have right. that. So I've oh no 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 thank you no thank you sir no thank you all right so I've sold pretty much all of this here bing bang boom and oh hold on one second Whew. okay so I've made a whole bunch of money because obviously guys we're saving up for the next admin shop which is like a really big deal so we're gonna go ahead and, and hopefully get enough money for that over the next day I would say uh, so you yeah, guys yeah. can probably expect to see. Um, maybe us unlocking the last and final admin shop after we obviously unlock all the G kits from the ultimate. Um, all right, so we're gonna think. I think we're good for Iron. Yeah, this doesn't seem to be super efficient. Like we're wasting a lot of chests. Yeah, yeah. It's not really getting there. What are you thinking we do to fix it? Um, probably. You know how like the hopper is. Well, the whole room is like four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, like sixteen wide. Yeah. We could have like four hoppers going to like one chest, and then four hoppers going to like another chest, and have like two rows of two. So it's like these hoppers over here aren't. And like go into any of these chests apart from the end one. So we're right. Just gonna use we just, this, so it's we just really like spread them out equally. Yeah. Yeah. Just spread them out across the room equally instead of just putting them all together. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, we did want to eventually just have like you know chests below here, right? Yeah, but if, even if we had that, like these side ones would only go into the side one, and then these middle ones would literally only have two hoppers going into them. And then right. we get nowhere near as much iron, so I guess it'd probably be more efficient to group them all. And the iron would just um, get wasted yeah, eventually. Yeah. Wouldn't it be like, wouldn't it be worth it to have it so that the iron gets pushed to the center, right? Like yeah. it, with water into only four hoppers and then they get pushed out. So we actually yeah, have them pushed out so that all the iron, no matter what goes into the middle and then those hoppers will find a place to put them. You know what yeah, I mean? Yeah. So it's like a big system. Yeah, exactly. I think that would actually be better. So we're actually gonna have to break down all these chests and all these hoppers. It's, uh, it's going to be a pretty big job, so we're going to get to it, and we're going to make some magic happen. Undead Ruse 5, what the hell? I don't want this. I don't want this, girl. Um, before <laughs> we do that, that, though, either. before we do that, because we'll do that off camera, um, but we'll do, we'll do that way off camera, I would say. Let me just get like a, a, a quick little run to the admin shop and just see if we can buy any more G-Kits, because I think we've purchased all of them in the Ultimate, but I'm not entirely sure. So let me go ahead and just double check that real quick. Let's see what we got here. Um, we fall down here. I'm going to go to ultimate because I think we have all the G kits, but we might actually have, oh no, we got two more. Oh, right. 
the Heroic Destroyer and the Heroic Diablo. So I need to withdraw $950,000. That's going to put us back a little bit for sure. Uh, but still yeah. looking strong at 3.7 mil. And now I can G-kit the um, Diablo kit, which is beautiful, all with Obsidian Shield. Oh, that's, that, Every, like that. everything has obsidian shield. So we can now mix and match <laughs> this with all sorts of great stuff. Um, that's beautiful. Okay, cool. And what else does it give you? A beautiful rage six piercing three arrow life steel bow. Wonderful. And some, uh, some cool potions. Cool. So there's that. So I can go ahead and take that off and the destroyer as well, which I need to go ahead and open up, which is right here, which is very similar to my other thing, but that's going to give me more obsidian shield. Actually, I think, which is kind of nice. Um, Gears three Deathbringer, but I did not get a good roll with these. I'm honestly contemplating just tinkering these because they're all really low numbers and then just going, yeah, I think I'm just going to tinker these. <laughs> <laughs> How much XP would I get from tinkering all this? Like this is because it's Deathbringer two, it's Deathbringer one and overload two, it's Deathbringer two, it's Deathbringer one, Gears three, but it has nothing else that's high level pretty much. This is Harden one and Deathbringer two. This is okay. I'll keep that one because it's overload three and obsidian shield. This is Harden 3, Obsidian Shield, and Plague Carrier, so could Black Scroll that? Probably not worth it, and this has no gears. I would literally get, like, 5,000 XP. Mm -hmm. I'd probably just keep the Obsidian Shield. I mean, you can never have too many Obsidian Shield pieces. That's true, because that's true. you can lose it so easily. Yeah, and I'll, I'll go ahead and, and, and just tinker these two pieces and then be be good good with that all right cool so now we're going to get working on the collection area these are all done the g kits from this area are complete um now we need to just move on to getting the collection agency and then on to the legendary store which i believe is going to be 10 million dollars so we'll get working on saving that up all right so we have done a little bit of work it's uh it's proven to be a little bit difficult with the space that we have to kind of get like a system that's super ultra efficient so we've just kind of cleaned it up a little bit and we're going to kind of spend some more time kind of figuring something out don't want to do something kind of 50% been thinking of some cool ideas uh, of what to do for this I mean like honestly dude I was thinking about maybe having just three lines of this maybe one over here yeah, yeah. one over here and then one over here so depending on where um, the the golem dies it just fills yeah. up that line but then at the end like we'd have to see which one gets the most uh, deaths and right now it all leads no matter what into this one beautiful hopper right there every piece of iron will go into this so as long as we keep these chests clear I mean, it'll fill up. So, and we could obviously make this as as deep as uh, as we want. We can even do a nice little change, uh, just to kind of just to kind of change things up a little bit. If we want, and we make this a little bit opener, more open on the bottom, we can actually put chests out to the side. You know what I mean? Yeah, just like this. Yeah, exactly. And even even uh, yeah, just like that. Just two two more chests just on the bottom, um, just to kind of add to it. Like these will funnel out and fill out the left and the right. So, I mean, those will get filled. I mean, we could we could do that. Like, that's the thing. It's like, typically, collection things, it's kind of like a, um, a blossom, right? Like, it's kind of like a, a, a yeah. spectrum where it's like, this is what happens. You have one chest that leads into two. This chest leads into two more. That chest leads yeah, into two more. It. And then, yeah, it goes and goes and goes and goes and goes. But with our small base, we can't really do that. So we have to, you know, obviously deal with what we have and figure out the most efficient way to do this. And... Um, not that it's going to be like super difficult. We'll definitely figure it out. Um, like for example, maybe some sort of weird like kind of jigsaw way where we can like have these plethora of like chests that kind of move. But then it's kind of annoying to sell the iron from. So, you know, you win some and you lose some. But we're gonna definitely look into it and get that uh, get that going. In the meantime, though, um, yeah, that's what's gonna uh, that's what's gonna happen. What if we like? Yeah, see, that doesn't really work. I was thinking like, what if we fill um, like down here, dude? If we just put irons. Iron here, and, and correct me if I'm I'm being really silly for thinking that this is this is doable, right? If you just go like this and grab a whole bunch of poppies, and just do, and put one poppy in all of these, won't this hopper, um, this hopper will just fill up with iron, right? And then and then you go like this and just fill this up with poppies, like this. So the thing about that is you'd have to put the, like the poppies would just move into the chest, so they wouldn't stay in the hopper. So which we, would mean so that, we just fill yeah. this up with iron essentially. Yeah, which is fine because if we have to fill this up with iron, um, here like fill fill this hopper up with iron and completely, uh, with stacks of sixty four, so it doesn't take any more. Then oh geez, do I not have enough? The the, ho the hopper would just uh, the poppies would just start going in this chest because it couldn't even oh, go right. in the hopper anymore. 
Um, Food, yeah, yeah, that, yeah. that makes sense. That makes sense. Hmm. Just thinking on the spot, never, never a good idea. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, this is still, this will still do a decent amount. Like yeah, this will still filter out we'll, like yeah, not a bad about, amount. I bet filled double poppies. Yeah, like not great because that fills up really fast, but it's still probably enough for like five or six dub chests of iron to be looking good. So just a nice little queen, quick thing that we can do um, just to kind of filter out the iron. Uh, the poppies is actually not bad. Oh, but sometimes poppies go in the left thing over here too. Yeah, uh, yeah, definitely some work on it. Yeah, like what, yeah. Hmm, because they'll go into that left one no matter what. So there's really nothing, unless you put like, unless you put one iron in all of this, similarly, right? Uh, yeah, yeah, I guess. But it, it's kind of ridiculous. Like it doesn't, it's not worth it. You know what I mean? Like this is really yeah, not yeah. worth it. Unless you have like that on every level, but then you have to redo and it adds just as much work. So that's kind of the, it's cool. Like that's kind of the issues that, that you run into with iron golem farms and like, you know, people are saying like, make it so you can sell poppies. Like, no, this is one of the difficulties of having an IG farm and something that we're gonna have to try and figure out and deal with. And we'll, we'll see what happens. It'll be, we'll try and figure out some cool stuff. So uh, yeah, anyways, this is, uh, it's gonna be, you know, some good fun. We'll, we'll get to, uh, we'll get to work on it. We'll bash some, some ideas together and get some stuff going as well as building some more stuff in this area, make it look a little bit better, make it look a little bit fresh, clean up the chests and all that stuff. And that's gonna be this episode of Faction. So we'll see you guys later. Take care. And oh, we gotta name the ax. We oh, gotta name the yeah. axe. I almost, okay, so I'm gonna get that ready. I need some help with the item name tag to get something set up like I did for the other one. So we're gonna jump into the team suit with a whole bunch of people and uh, some pros and kind of come up with some cool ideas and let's see what we can do. All right, so we're, ha we're hanging in the team suit with uh, Tnoots and Discipline and we figured out what we're gonna name this bad boy. It looks so sick. Oh man, everyone's like dopey. Yeah, it's sick. It looks so good. All right, so hit, right click the name tag, bang. All right, hold the item you'd like to rename, send the item in a chat. Okay, so I'm gonna do public, and there it is. So it's at F at L, so that's bold and white for the flower, which I don't think actually matters, I don't think you can bold a flower, but whatever. Then it's at E at L, Chuan, so a light yellow and bold for Chuan's, and then at four at L, which is red and bold, hammer, and then the flower again, boom! Voila, now we can item that bad boy. Mm. Mm, Schwann's hammer. I love it. It's so good. It's so good. <laughs> yeah, it looks good. Get all them GGs <laughs> in the chat. All right. Well, guys, that is going to be this episode of Factions. If you guys enjoy, hit that like button down below. I really do appreciate all the support. We got the Schwann Sam. We're going to go ahead and uh, get ready with our God sets and all sorts of cool stuff and do some cool PvP and all that jazz. I will see you guys later. Take care and goodbye.